hey guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to another cleaning video thank you for being here today we do have a lot of ground to cover so I'm going to go ahead and get started cleaning I will be spending all my time just cleaning the downstairs area now if you are cleaning with me let's go ahead and get started and if you are watching for entertainment or to get some motivation to get your home cleaned I hope that you enjoy this video so let's go ahead and get started So usually before I start cleaning the kitchen, I will put away my leftovers. So if I'm putting some in the fridge for us to eat the next day or in the freezer, I'll either put them in a Ziploc bag or in containers, put those away and then I'll bring everything close to me. So bottles, cups, plates, everything that's um, dirty that needs to be cleaned, I'll bring them all into the kitchen before I start cleaning. And then once I'm done with washing them, I will be wiping down my countertops. But that's just my process with going through that. And I usually take a minute to just um, look at the fridge, see what's going bad. And we had our trash being picked up the next day. So I just went ahead and emptied the fridge too, just to you know get rid of all the old food that was in there. And I cleaned those um, containers as well. So I'm going to take out everything that I need to put in the trash and in the process I'll go ahead and just reorganize the fridge just to make it a little bit more organized and I can um, also take inventory of what I have and what I need to buy from the store the next time I go in.
have had some of this condiment for a while and I think it's just time for them to go in the trash we haven't used them in a while and they've just been sitting in here so I'll go ahead and take those out I usually buy multiples of milk and half and half and some heavy whipped cream because we use those the most and most of the time when I'm um, working during the week I don't like to get out to go to the store so having um, one extra just helps me during the week and then on the weekend when we are out i will grab extras if i need to I usually save my um, grocery bags when I come back from the store and I use them for different purposes. I use them on like smaller trash cans around the house and I also use them in the kitchen to put um, everything that's going in the trash. So like leftover food from the fridge, I like to put them in a bag before I put them in my trash can because I don't want them to drip. Um, out so you know like maybe my bag might have a hole in my big trash can so by putting it in one of these bags and then putting it in the trash can i'm just making sure that my trash can doesn't get dirty or have all that um gunky stuff in it and i've just been doing this for a while it's just something that i do um because i have the trash bags so i don't have a good reason for it it's just a habit my kitchen every night and I am just that person who is very uncomfortable with going to bed with um, dishes in the sink and this has just been me through childhood to adulthood I will clean my kitchen the days that I don't clean my kitchen I'm either extremely tired or I just cannot get to it but 99% of the time I'm always doing my dishes and I also don't mind doing my dishes by hand I find it enjoyable the water running is just so enjoyable to me it's almost like a moment of relaxation for my mind and just to um, unwind and just have that it's almost like the rain sounds or like the quiet sounds that you could have on like a noise machine that's the same feeling that i get when i'm doing my dishes and it's just a moment for me and my brain to just have our meeting but anyway guys i'm just cleaning my dishes by hand and then i leave my dishwasher door open for my dishes to dry overnight and then in the morning i will put them away I should probably let you go I know I can't be 
a moment to just say thank you to every single one of you guys watching and for all the support and the love that you guys have shown my last couple of videos you guys are just amazing i really do appreciate having every single one of you here whether you are subscribed or you're not i am just so thankful for you and your time that you took to watch my videos i do not take that for granted i know that um, you didn't have to but you chose to watch my videos so thank you so so much and if you are still considering subscribing to the channel please subscribe and join our family we would really love to have you here you subscribing you know commenting engaging with me in the comment section sharing my videos really 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 does help my channel out and I really don't take it for granted I thank you all for always always supporting me I I never saw this channel where it is now and I'm so grateful for you guys I hope that this content is actually bringing you some some value and some motivation to clean your space or um, just organize your home I I do this because I love to do it and I'm just hoping that it helps and I find myself the most peaceful when my house is clean and organized so I don't mind taking the time to clean it and organize it I clean literally all the time if something is out of place and I'm walking past it I will put it back where it needs to go uh, it's it's just something that I've grown up doing and I'm guessing you know my my childhood just molded me to be this person who will not walk past trash i'll pick it up and put it in the trash can and that has just um you know i've i've seen that uh, evolve into my lifestyle and how i organize and clean things i like for everything to be in its specific home and if it's out of place i will fix it so when i'm cleaning these areas it doesn't look like my house is untidy but to me it is and i need to keep up with it i do have two small children a five-year-old and an eight-year-old and they're all over the place all the time so when i'm cleaning my house at night i know that in the morning it's not gonna look the same but i don't mind cleaning it because it's just what i do i've been doing this for so long that it just comes a second nature to me and i don't mind doing it so i hope that this kind of content just gives you some motivation to do a little bit every day i mean you don't have to clean for hours at a time just uh 30 minutes here and there you know 15 minutes i even clean on my breaks at work you know put some laundry in the laundry machine or fold my sheets from the dryer something let me tell you something guys every little time that you put into cleaning and organizing your home counts and it just lessens the load when you are ready to clean everything else because you will not be doing everything you've been building up to the process putting things away you know rinsing your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher if you're going to run your dishwasher at night or you know putting your clothes in the hamper instead of the floor just little things really do help so i am here just supporting you and rooting for you and hoping that this content just reaches the right people and that it gives everybody that's watching some motivation or encouragement that it's possible and we just have to do a little bit at a time you don't have to do it all at the same time but knowing that a clean home also 
helps with your mental status and just being able to focus better and you get to enjoy your home too so take this as an encouragement to just clean your home and organize it just take the vacuum cleaner and just run it through the whole floors you'll feel so much better I know that we've had quite a few new subscribers to the channel so I'm going to just take this moment to share a little bit about myself I am a mom of two as I've mentioned before I have a five-year-old and an eight-year-old we are a military family my husband is in the Navy and he is currently stationed on a submarine out in southeast Georgia and I I'm a full-time employee I am in finance and I've been blessed to work remotely for the last four years so majority of my time I am at home um, and that's my setup for for work and I guess I being at home so much has really um, made it possible for me to maintain my home a little bit better um, as you know commute is not easy and having that taken out of your daily schedule is just so helpful I'm able to spend a little bit more time you know with my kids and my family and with my husband being gone often um, we definitely do value that fa family time so I am definitely grateful for my uh, remote work and I um, I don't know what else to share but um, yeah we are a military family out in Southeast Georgia um, and I do love to create this cleaning video so um, let me know if you have any questions in the in the comment section I'm not sure what else to share here but if you do have questions let me know and i'll be happy to answer them I 
don't wanna remember you. Oh no. Didn't I say you did the wrong thing? Did it for the wrong reasons. Keep on going, wrong direction. Went into deep at first. Take what you need. Tryna guess what happens after this. I'm moving out. Find a place where I can breathe. Yeah. You show it all. Don't want anything to do with you. This is my win. I don't even care no more, care no more. Lost for you, win for me. Lost for you, win for me. Yeah, lost for you, win for me. Lost for you, lost for you. Lost for you, win for me. Lost for you, win for me. Yeah, lost for you, win for me. Lost for you, lost for you.
I like to clean the kitchen with just a soapy rag. I do this every night. I'll just uh, put some soap on my microfiber cloth and then run it through the uh, countertops. And then I'll come back in and I'll wipe it off. And I go back and forth rinsing the rug and wiping until all soap is cleaned off. And I just love how I get like a clean feel when I'm done with it and it also gives my oven and my uh, microwave a really good shine so i don't need to use like a stainless steel cleaner on those to get them to shine so just soap and water does it for me and i i, I do that every night so when i'm cleaning the kitchen once i'm done i would rinse my rug and then hang it on my little hanger on the door on the um, sink door and just let it dry overnight Baby, dig deep, it's time to make a move on my heart What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? What's it gonna take for you to show, take for you to show feels, yeah. I've been trying to take it slow, but my patience low Think it's time you let me know
like a light lighting up in the dark you make it right i forgot how to act it's so classic every time you make me nervous and i lose my words it's been a while since i forgot the most simple words So up until this point, this is my irregular cleaning process of the kitchen. It might be shorter than um, today's video, just depending on how much dishes I have to do or if I'm running my dishwasher, but this is how I clean every night. I do a soapy rug on my countertops every night and I clean the top of my um, stove and my microwave and now I'm just doing stuff that I don't do every day but I do every couple of days like cleaning my dishwasher so I'll use my stainless steel cleaner to just wipe it down with a paper towel and then I'll go ahead and roll up my um, runner that's in here and I'll go put it in the washer I, I do have another one that I need to clean so I'll clean both of those together in the washer and I'll just mop the floors. I also need to straighten up my living space. Um, the kids have been jumping all over the couch, so I'm just going to take my vacuum cleaner and um, vacuum the couch just a little bit, and I'll mop the floors to finish up. I also like to wipe my trash can with some disinfectant wipes um, every couple of days maybe two or three days I'll wipe it down but I also wipe down the um, area around it so the wall and the side of the cabinet both of those get wiped down with the disinfectant wipes I'll move the trash can out of the way and then I'll um, I'll mop the floors with my tinnacle mop
I know I'm all over the place in this video guys and it makes sense in my in my mind when I'm actually cleaning to clean the way that I do sometimes I'll clean one area and get it all done and be done with it and then sometime I will just clean as I go and this is probably one of those times so you actually get to see how my brain works on different days and on this day I just wanted to clean and get everything organized so I'm jumping and hopping all over the place so I'm here I wiped down the mirror and then I'm wiping the glass table and then I went back into the kitchen got that rug out of the kitchen area and then I started mopping and then after I was done mopping that's when I came back into the living area and I vacuumed my couches and vacuumed the rug so it's not it's not very consistent that I'm going by space and getting everything done and then moving to the next one I'm just cleaning as I'm going my 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 brain is just doing its thing and i didn't even get to um clean my dining table i i did not have it in me to finish that table it has just been like a catch-all for a lot of things that we have around the house the kids will come back and they'll put their bags over there and it's just it, it's just a catch-all area and i'm not prepared to go through it that way we do have one chair that's just holding backpacks and until I can figure out a place to put those um, that's just the one place that they'll go and I'm here just showing you what the brush looks like on my Tineco I usually just take it apart and clean it the last time that I'm using it so that it's clean and ready to be used next time so now I'm just putting it back together so I can use it and then once I'm done cleaning I will just run it quickly and put it back because I still have to clean my upstairs area which I did um, the following day but because this video is this long I don't want to have too much um, on just one video so that will be part of uh, the next video but yes this is me just sharing how I clean sometimes it's um, it's in order and other times it's just me cleaning different areas and moving and once I'm done uh, I'm, I'm done you know but hey um, I don't have a specific way that I clean and I just do it as I go I'm here uh, because I'm already in the bathroom filling my water tank for my tinnacle mop I thought I would just go ahead and fill my soap dispenser i have had these things for years now but i still can't figure out how i take them off and put them back i just wing it until it sticks in there but i took advantage of the semi-annual sale that uh bath and body works had and i got me some of this refillable soap that we use around the house so i'm just filling this up and then i'm putting it back and then we'll go back and we'll start mopping something but now i'm left with an empty heart no making amends no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all how could i know there was no second chances like dominoes my life got really scattered you couldn't keep the door shut Speak up the truth when it's tainted I fell into a big black hole It got me stone cold
I took out the other rug and after uh, mopping this area I'm just going to put on a new one and I actually do love having this washable rugs um, in the kitchen and it just makes it easier to maintain um, a clean kitchen I feel like just being able to put this in a washer and getting them cleaned is just really effective and I got mine from Sam's Club I have um, quite a few different ones and I've seen new patterns at Sam's Club lately I'll probably grab one or two when I find myself there but um, they do not hold up really well so um, I'm just thinking that I'm getting about six months to a year of um, the rug just being really good and maybe it's because I'm using it for maybe a week and then I'm washing them so they're constantly in the washer but considering that I have other rugs that I also wash all the time I just feel like this rugs don't hold up really well but um, I'll use them I mean until I can find something else I will use this it just makes it easier for me to clean and put them in the washer and then mop my floors and put a new one in also because I'm using different ones it just makes the kitchen feel a little different every time that I'm using a different one so I don't mind it I got them for about $40 from um, Sam's Club they do have a few different patterns if you go on samsclub.com um, but I just grab them either online or at the store but I do love having them so I'll go ahead and finish mopping um, here and then I'll clean my bathroom and just mop all the way out and um, start vacuuming my couch. So having a caddy is definitely life changing to cleaning. I, I clean so often but I never thought to just have a caddy where I have everything that I'm cleaning with around me at all times and guys this is just the best thing and has made my cleaning process so much easier i'm not sure why i've never done it i mean we see you know people who have like um cleaning businesses they bring in you know like their caddies with everything that they need and i just always thought okay because they're bringing their cleaning supplies they have to have everything but i never thought to have my own cleaning supplies in a caddy at home and just moving with it it just saved me it just saved me to set this up i got this caddy from ross and i have two different ones one upstairs and one down here and i've set it up with um pretty much about the same exact things that i use and on my last video i shared how i was setting up this one and it's working just perfect now i'm going to go ahead and just wipe down this little cabinet that i have on here it was a little dusty so I'm just using method um, all-purpose cleaner and some paper towel to just wipe down and then I'll move it to the side, mop the floors around it and then I'll just finish up cleaning.
It's an understatement To walk alone I guess it's my prepayment Please give me a light Show me what I need I know I'm blind But I hear symphonies Of your I'm using a Clorox disinfectant um, mess to wipe down my toilet and guys I'm not sure if it's just me but when I spray this Clorox um, mist thing I will cough so much and I'm not sure if it's just me who this thing is just choking uh but it, it's so strong well it's effective yes i i accept the fact that it's effective it's clearing the, it's killing the germs but i'm just i'm just coughing my lungs out using this product and maybe this is the reason why i always just use disinfecting wipes instead of the mist because i guess my nose just can't take it but, but i have it and i'm trying to use it so that um you know i'm just using different products i don't know but i have it on my caddy and every time i use it i am reminded that this is why i don't use it as often and i would rather just use the disinfectant wipes instead because my lungs just can't take it nothing wrong mm -hmm. you think we can't pretend keep acting to the end mm -hmm. oh baby you're crazy think you can sue for me you know the town is up you'll never be enough so this is what the water looks like after cleaning for a while it's not too bad but i'm just going to empty it in my toilet and then i'll rinse the bin and um i'll be ready to use it again but i wanted to share with you guys that usually when i scrub down my toilet i will put in a little bit of the lysol in it even though i'm using the clorox um a disposable uh, scrub things i don't know i just like to go in with a little bit of the toilet cleaner and um, I feel like it just gives me better results and I don't have um, lime um, stains on my toilet as much and then I'll go ahead and wipe down my wand and put it away and then I'll start cleaning the toilet floors
So I'm almost done uh, mopping the floors. I'll go ahead and put the Tineco back on its charging dock. And then I'm going to turn on the self-cleaning cycle. Let it just run and clean and then I'll empty the tank later. But for now I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to finish cleaning my living area and vacuum the floors, well vacuum the rug in there. situation like we're stuck inside a game time to get out of this circle yeah we both carry a scar as you write the part we're playing time to cherish who we are the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before or oh, oh yeah now it's time for something better and time for us to follow our dreams no, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away So as I'm vacuuming those cushions, I will go ahead and flip them over. I know one of my subscribers was really kind to just give me that hint a couple of weeks ago. And even though I have kind of straightened up this couch a few times, I haven't been flipping the, couch, the cushions as much. These cushions are heavy. And um, I guess most of the time I'm just tired and I'm just ready to go to bed but on this day I vacuumed the cushions and I flipped them over and they look really nice once they are vacuumed and um, I'm planning on just taking off the the pillows so the pillows on the couch I need to take off the beige looking um, covers and just wash them I saw one that had a stain on it so I am planning on getting those out and washing them but for now let's just go ahead and straighten up this couch and then vacuum the rug and call it a night.
time we let things go Is this our destiny? Just like it was meant to be Yeah
guys we are coming to the end of this video i just want to say thank you so much for spending the last hour with me cleaning or hanging out i really did appreciate your company and i hope that you were able to get your space cleaned in one way or another so um until next sunday i hope that you guys have a great week and we will be back on sunday with a brand new video for now take care and be safe